everybody should have their episodes paused at the 46 second mark. It's very important that you have it paused there um, rather than coming in from the main Netflix menu because that means that your episode will start immediately. If you've been here before, you know what we're doing next. If you're new, grab your remote, have your thumb on that play button, but do not press it because we're going to do that. I'm not recording. No, my, my iPad's in the other room. Okay. I'm hoping that that somebody else is recording. Mary Pro. Um, all right. So uh, if you're new, have that that remote in your hand and get get ready to press it, but don't press it yet because we're going to do that at the same time. By the way, I still need to add Tasha as co-host. Don't worry, Tasha. You will be the co-host before kernels are distributed. So, um, and uh, I'm going into the timer right now. I'm going to actually just really quickly, just so I don't forget. Tasha Sierra. I almost forgot about the Cardinals, to be honest. Okay. All right. So everybody, you ready? We're going to do this on the count of three. So when you hear three, you're going to press that button. Ready? One, two, three. I saw this movie in theaters. Was it good? No. <laughs> and I'm not afraid of snakes. So it's not like it was even scary. And of course my phone or my phone, my television is frozen. We should watch Aim We're at 117. So this came. This episode came out when Snakes on the Plane came out. Yeah, so I think two thousand six. Yep. Death to Roku. Wow, they're really diving right into this, huh? I, I I kind of expected that there would be at least a little bit of lead up to these two actually fully dating. I know, like it went right from like the Chris to so we just went and saw a movie haven't... together and let's hang out. Proper dates, yeah. Haven't they kind of been dating all their lives though? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. She makes a valid. They don't need to get to know each other. They've been. So that's a good kiss, though. Okay, that is a good kiss. Like compare yes. that kiss. Compare that kiss to the Max kisses. It's not. It's not well, awkward to watch. I will say, I'm not a fan of them too, but it's not awkward to watch. I mean, the kiss between Lorelai and Luke, of course, still tops the series, but it's a comfortable kiss. It's a good kiss. We're we look at that and we don't feel like that's an awkward kiss. And he Which is how I felt about all of the Max kisses. John, how does Babsy feel about you not liking Max? She really <laughs> likes Max. Yeah. Um, I, know. I remember you. No, you don't always. You don't always agree with your spouse on on everything. The house looks so plain now with all that stuff gone. Yeah, and Luke remodeled it for her. I would feel extremely guilty living there. Did we lose somebody? Nikki. Nikki. We lost Nikki. Before the episode started. I tried to say it. She got a phone call, she said, from the house. Uh, got it. Oh, okay.
I'm going to bring Lee back up here just in case we don't get Nikki back. <laughs> so loved. Thank you. Hello. Lee, Lee does the prophecy allow this between? I don't know. I think um, I'm going to need Chris to just leave. I, we can't be here at the same time. <laughs> Sworn enemies. Did we Gosh, talk there about is the drama to Twizzlers? I like the pull and peel. I don't like the regular ones. But aren't they a Red Vines family? Yep. Oh, oh yes, I love the red vines. I like the black one. Of all the American candy I've tried, I really like Swedish fish, which is hilarious because they're called Swedish. Wait a second. Those are, like Swedish aren't fish. those Swedish? I love Swedish <laughs> fish. I thought they were American. I've only ever gotten them from American people. I've never I'm had I'm sure that in before. Sweden they've got Swedish fish. I'm going to Google. They have the, the salty. Swedish, the they have the salty Institute dark here. Or the black out. licorice. They have the herring or whatever they're called. So I have to admit, this isn't my favorite episode. In fact, it's one of my least favorites. I love it. it. I wonder if it's going to be one of my favorite episodes. A lot of people do love this. I think you're going to love it. It's going to be good. John, by the way, we should just we we should acknowledge the fact that it is not just one Gilmore Girls cast member's birthday today. Wait, what? No, it's so no but we're gonna it pretend. is Melissa Party. McCarthy's birthday today. Oh yeah, yes, like they share a birthday. It's my half birthday today. Happy it's half, half birthday. birthday, John. I'm very disappointed you couldn't get here and here to watch this episode. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? <laughs> Just play. Google says Swedish fish were originally made by a Swedish company for the U.S. market. I love this Luke and Kirk moment. By the way, Babsy just walked in with another box from Diana. Oh boy. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be getting presents for the next like two weeks. For a while. Pretty much. From all yeah, there were some delays. The John, if you saw my tweet for fun. tonight's episode the clip that i use is, is so funny and kirk's hair is so short also we got josie's passport today and i'm looking at it right now <gasps> and it is it is oh, extra yeah. cute oh so sweet was she smiling oh no her two fingers in her mouth that she's been with like a few different pics now is really yeah. Someone commented saying adorable. it looks like she's doing the um rock. Like the rock. Yeah. yeah, the rock and roll yeah. finger. It's super sweet. Poppies are gateway. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What? I thought they dropped hey, well, off. Well, hello. Does not mean that your theory is going to come true. Well, hello, Ms. Nardini. How let's are you today? Let's hear why she's there. Did I miss a theory somewhere when I went I to did bed? too. Yeah, John you did. thinks they're going to date. <laughs> she also, she looks really beautiful. In she this does scene. look very yeah. beautiful. Uh, her hair's pretty. Doesn't she always? They've made wear? her up. Like, she's got some makeup on. and I do have her ready for dating. What are you I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a Lorelai dress. It is very Lorelai look and dress. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's really the makeup and the dress. Style. If I am right about this, if I am freaking right about this, <laughs> forget it. The end. She is going to be repulsed by that hat, if nothing else. Ooh, fall squash. It's, it's, it's like my house. house. And, it's that now. and it's almost fall here, too. Ooh, soup, yum. All my pumpkins are ready way too early. I don't know what I'm going to do. Butternut squash soup sounds really good right now. I'm judging Lorelai for this right now. I'm sorry, but that soup looks delicious. Looks phenomenal. 
I would inhale a bowl of soup right now. Oh my god. I love Lorelai's dress here though. It's very baby doll. So we say that Luke's food is real when it's cooked and stuff like that. Is that the same thing with when soupy cooks? I would assume so. Uh, yeah. This dress yeah. on Lorelai is one of my favorites in the whole series. Yes. Oh, I love it. I was just gonna and with the little cardigan. Like, with the hair pulled back. So, full look. She's wearing a dark bra. Look. <laughs> I noticed that, <laughs> Shelly. It's a very formal dress She's for gross. work. Can we just pay tribute to her being bumpy right there, though? Oh, there's a bump in, in there. Oh, there's a bump in, in there. Or Lorelai's. Suki? Suki. Suki. Okay, I was like, I don't think it's Lorelai's. Yeah, you can't miss that bump. It. She has a bump in the back, too. I like the hairstyle on Suki. I love Suki. I, I was just going to say that. She's I love so her good. in the scene. Uh, <laughs> he needs to button that shirt. That's driving me Yeah, insane. that's a lot of chest hair. Yes. Hey, John, did you and Melissa ever celebrate your guys' birthday on set? It was Suki's reaction. No, because we were never shooting at this time. Oh, right. I feel like I didn't learn that her birthday was on my, uh, that we shared the same birthday until like the era of social media, like until like Twitter and whatnot, because I didn't really know. I mean, Melissa and I weren't like, Melissa and I weren't, we didn't work together. So we never really saw each other um, that often. Um, we were friend, we were friendly outside of the show, um, just, we like met a few times to you know but she was sort of working on filmmaking stuff and I was doing filmmaking stuff at the time um there was like a brief brief period where her and I were were um sort of hanging out outside of the show like you know meeting for coffee and stuff and um but I I, I didn't really develop a strong relationship this is unrelated a time like the present I don't know if you guys, I don't know who else watches with subtitles, but we just had, rather than Lala's, we had Papa. Papa. I saw that. Papa. 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 <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed the Papa. Papa. No, I've never, I've never seen them write it like that before. And that rocket's back. <laughs> yeah, that rocket can go to space. And not come <laughs> I love the rocket. I, I like the rocket like too. To I would just like to point out that every time I look at my screen, people's avatars are flipping around and they're multiplying. <laughs> yeah. now has it's four so fun when you John's and hers. Steph it's insane. Steph has four. Irnin has flipped to the side. It's it's madness. I will say, I wish I had Emily's closet. Yeah, that closet mm -hmm. is amazing. Because right now my closet's a little bit smaller than my old one and I'm sad. Amanda, did you notice that Anna down in the audience has wink winkers? I Anna, did. She, yeah, I saw her wink winkers. And the Canadian flag. That's good. I love how excited Richard is about this. So I love perfect. this story. As a professor. I love how excited. Emily is for Richard to get that position. It's so cute. Luke trying to be a dad is honestly one of my favorite things. I was gonna say. 
It's very wholesome. <laughs> gouging does sound fun. It's so a very so fun word. Punching people. I love gouging. I love put off by this thing. He goes around I'm punching. Seeing. I'm very happy to hear that this is <laughs> that this storyline has continued. Yeah, that it's that hasn't gone away. We just had to get into the bulk of the season. I think I miss it's... Miss Patty's bright colors. She's not wearing the bright colors this past couple of episodes. Yeah, but I love her earrings and stuff. Yeah, me that she still looks great. But she sure a dangle. That's more of a fall outfit. John, I think you would appreciate knowing that a few of us, while we were having the, oh, I'm bummed that April's gone conversation yesterday, a few of us were messaging, kind of just being like, he, 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 he. Yep. I'm <laughs> sure you were. It was hilarious. There yes. she is. April She's back. She's getting this is the official April fan club. The yo <laughs> from yo. Kirk. Yo. What plant is that that she has? Or is that avocado? It's an avocado, avocado pit. pit. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's great. Luke is getting this time, though, with her, and she's allowing that. 100%. And I do appreciate that they brought her back and let Luke be a dad because of everything he lost for the sake of it. In all fairness, though, he didn't have to lose it. He chose to put himself... Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, just the whole situation of it. Sad. I was going to say, she's a teenager, right? So I can't get over up. the hat. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't get over <laughs> the hat. Are you serious? It's, it's very distracting. So Stop much attention with the hat, to Luke. You got to get the hat off. It's a story device. They want you to be uncomfortable with the hat. It's also over his uncomfortable ears. Situation. At least pull his ears out from, from under that hat. No, that would make <laughs> I'm him sorry. Hurt. I just hate that hat. Oh, that one doesn't have the, that one doesn't have the, what was it, DC on the back, does it? Oh, there it is. Maybe it is. But the ears, the ears tucked underneath the hat. I feel like Scott, as a baseball player, should have known that he's not wearing it correctly. I know lots of guys that do that around here who it's put the ears so, inside the hat yes yes <laughs> it's to keep them from getting wear. sunburned yeah, yeah. i mean well, I what happens is that the only the bottom half of your that? ear gets sunburned and the top half of your ear is white <laughs> i lost it last night when he had one tucked in and one untucked it was just absolutely hilarious every time he turned around <laughs> <laughs> I always tuck my ears in. Is that just the guys that aren't supposed to do it? I, I do yeah, it I tuck my, my ears in. Can we just Monday. stop and say that that was cute? I'm sorry, but that was absolutely adorable. adorable. It was. Oh, it's oh. so adorable. No, I love God, Luke. I love this dress so much. I'm yeah, sorry. she looks beautiful. We've had John, three. Did we ever reach out we've to had Bill? three great dresses in oh, this episode: beautiful. Nardini, then Lorelai, and now this dress. Lots of good fashion. Except for that hat. Where's oh, that there's a guy hat? back there with a backwards hat. You see it? But, yeah, it has but, it, but he's got the, it. he doesn't have the snap. He's yeah. got the, the like Buffle. fabric <laughs> thing with the little clip. That's like the LL Bean cap. Yeah. No. Yeah, John, did we ever reach out to Bill or did we ever hear back from him? Bill. I can't remember the actor's name, but Bill here in the paper. You're talking about Devin? Oh, Devin. Dev Devin. Devin, yes. No, I can reach out to him. Is it this episode and possibly next episode? I think he's in quite a bit. I think it's the next one.
It's the next episode you're thinking of. Yeah, the next episode, so tomorrow's or the next day's, he's in quite a bit. I'm really loving the fashion of this episode. Like, she looks great. Paris looks great. In her- I agree. I like Paris's hair, too. Lighter with, like, the highlights. Looks pretty. And she looks gorgeous. The, yeah, even some of the lesser characters, like Sheila, her outfit was really good. She just looks so tiny without the heels. Mm-hmm. I think she's Isn't skinny this episode or this season too. Isn't she started like running. Six by six. I've noticed that. Another <laughs> excellent dress. Yeah, she's dressed. I That's think it's a good, good dress. Another good dress. Alexis Bledel. But I'm not a big fan of the hair. Yeah, I don't like the hair as much either. Oh, that straight hair, that fried. The yeah. frizzy tried to straighten yeah. curly hair. I've been there. It's pretty <laughs> she straightened her hair a lot better than that. It, it was just it too really humid that day, I bet you. <laughs> Shelly. That's how, that's how mine looks if I'm trying to straighten it. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> So, John, where do you think they might be going on their date? Any guesses? Hmm. Hmm. Shoot, <laughs> now, I'm cha- now I'm challenged. I got to do it. I got to do it. Take a minute and debate. Oh, the opera? No. Uh, nope. Um, you said some gorgeous car. I can't figure it out. Just wait. I don't think you could guess it, to be fair. I forgot about it. The way I said that sounded a lot more insulting than I meant it to. It's, it's pretty it's hard one Gosh, to you get up on the couch. God, no, John, you, you can't so guess things. <laughs> <laughs> the cooler in the back seat is a clue. Oh, 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 they're going on a picnic. Good guess. Be- They're going I, on a picnic. I'd actually never know. They're going to the beach. They're the going to the beach. Back seat, Diane. <laughs> Your clothes with outside. Yeah, I've never noticed that cooler. 24 socks for $6. Okay, sign me up. I miss Target so much. You know, Target has this really great two-day delivery system. These It depends on what you have delivered. <laughs> yeah, in Utah, you can't, um, they don't, you can't get, um, they have alcohol, but you can't get it uh, delivered. Sadly. You can in my state. But See, I'm in think, Utah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Like, does she want does she want her mom and to get together? Uh, it's like when Rory had that speech about how every kid of separated parents has the dream. Yeah. That's what's happening here, isn't it? Oh yeah. No spoiler. <laughs> John, I even go down and look at Regina's avatar. You'll enjoy that one. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I can't even tell. I where love she it, is. Regina. Where is she? she? She's oh, down. Oh, in the also, just look, can we all look down. at Anna's avatar for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anna's is good. Too. That is so She's good. Like where is Anna? Are you talking about Anna Dalzell? Oh the- yeah, with the wink winkers. I saw that. Five and six yep. rows down. I love Morgan's icon. Where is Regina? 
How far is she down? She's Regina Gill tonight with the party hat. That helps. And Brian is not covered. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd never guessed this, but this is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a hard one. To ever. Okay, cool. He did a lot of planning to make this happen. <laughs> oh, yep. come on now. Yep. That is. And John, this is why we're watching Funny Face on Saturday. There yep. it is. He knows her. This is I a... love it, but but is anyone annoyed by the lines like it would drive me crazy to have the lines <laughs> the screen the whole time. oh my yeah God. maybe it just kind of oh, goes with the ambience though the bar i have bad eyes so i think it's all based on that but it is really cool what he did this is also why your face has like that little like funny facing on it on the little invite thing i was wondering the... why yeah <laughs> this is part of it I haven't seen Funny Face in years. I mean, I think it's I think it's cool that that the two of them that he has that he understand he knows her that well, you know. Oh yeah, and like she'd been so annoyed with how bad movies were, and he took her to a favorite. That's really sweet. I love that. I didn't even see that until you said it. That's so cool. Insight. I just have to mention real quick. Um, I was just talking to Anna, and she said that it's not wink winkers; it's poutine. Canadian Ooh, difference. Oh, I yeah, should have said that. that sounds... But isn't poutine made with wink winkers? That is poutine, yes, but it has it wink is. winkers in it. Sorry, Anna. The, it, it's poutine made with wink winkers. Have you seen <laughs> MJ's? She's right above Anna. Ooh. Awesome, MJ. Oh. Awesome. This is my favorite part. Maybe my favorite in all of season seven. That's why I picked Gosh, it for I love my this episode. So this is a good why I picked episode. it for my This is why we need a freeze, because it's John's birthday. Was it illegal in Connecticut at this time? I guess it was. Probably. They must have just brought it in, I would assume. Yeah, I we feel have like that. We have to ask. Uh, I think Kendra's in Connecticut. Maybe she knows. I'm not. I wish uh, not Kendra, I sorry. Krista. Krista's in Connecticut. Yes. Sorry, Kendra is in Oklahoma. Yeah. This is the best. <laughs> you got what a line. I love that line. I, I love the awesome. stare she gives him. Her attitude. <laughs> that was awesome. I have to say, I went to art school, and the art in this scene is freaking amazing i think in my personal opinion it's uncanny i looked up the uh, connecticut laws and it was introduced in 2006 they were one of the first states to ban uh, handheld cell phones and texting while driving I will, say, that's right? Right? I will say uh oh wow kristen ritter um Interesting. I remember oh, wow. these two. Oh, wow. I remember yeah, I these two. You remember them? Yes, I remember them on set. I remember them on set. I had no context for what who they were. I mean, I of course I know Kristen Ritter, but like I didn't. I had no idea. Kristen is a gift I love to that this they world. The story. I agree.
the first you time Bob ever watched this stuff. with me, he was like, oh my gosh, it's Jessica Jones. Right? You know, right. <laughs> See, and I know her from Breaking Bad. Me too. Very yeah. Cool. Yeah. Andy. I know her from The Bee in Apartment Yes, She's yep. awesome in that yeah. show. I, to be honest with you, I knew her from this show because I saw her for the first time on set. And so I was just, I just remembered, I thought that she was very interesting looking. And then I started seeing her in all of those shows that you're talking about. That she is so currently cool. attacking a short -lived her. short-lived sitcom for a while. Um, it had the guy that played the brother on Everybody Loves Raymond. And he played her dad in a sitcom for a little love these two man i just love them yeah i'm glad i will life. say kendra i will say kendra that that, that i i'm sort of the art i like the art but i am sort of judging the name of that particular piece shock to the system oh absolutely <laughs> i mean i named seems a little on the art. nose yeah I want an icy so badly. We only have one gas station in our little suburb where they still have them, that particular brand. You can get icy brand like frozen pops in the grocery store. Yeah, we not get those. Yeah. Does anybody remember? a frozen like drink called a hush puppy yeah yes. we have those oh, yes here. of course yeah, hush, puppies, here. hush puppies are better than slurpees in my oh yeah we don't have them here anymore but we did when i was a kid we call them slush puppies we call them slush yeah that's what it is that's what it is i haven't seen them since i was probably in high school that's when they disappeared from our area i forgot Oh, she's not feeling it. Awkward. That's Awkward, it. yep. She's not feeling it. No. I mean, she's just like intellectually like, this is romantic. This is really nice. Sex you are really perfect. That's a lot of but boxes, but. Well, well, well. Ooh, that's a lot. She has a point. Well, at least she's thinking rationally and not just reacting out of emotion in the moment. Totally. The fact that she definitely took like... on what Suki said. Yeah, and I don't blame her with all that history that's not so great. It's best for her to be hesitant. She's so different. The character has really, really evolved since season one. Her. I mean. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. It does she remind me, up though. A little? Yeah. She's grown. It reminds me a little of when she was with Max. And I believe they had the conversation where he said, you're going to have to let someone through the door eventually. Because she's hesitating on going through that barrier. Um, it's obviously very different circumstances, but it does remind me of that conversation they had. Yeah, I feel for her. Emily, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Are we on break? Emily's in jail. Emily's in jail. <laughs> I just <laughs> did a, a little <laughs> She tries so hard not to laugh. This that keeps off. getting better and better. I would, I would just like to. Point <laughs> I'm sorry, out. Mandy, but this episode is pretty darn good. <laughs> this is a good <laughs> episode. Darn good. Person. This is the third person she's had to bail out of jail. Third. Her daughter Luke and oh Mel. yeah. 
this might be the most enjoyable though. I oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, for sure. sure. Okay, so we did get to see Luke beat up I a like, car though. I like this episode. I don't like seeing Christopher and Lorelai together. I just don't. I don't like it. And this no. is the first time we see them together a lot, so it bugs. Yeah, me. but it Amen. makes sense for them to explore it a little bit. Yeah, I hate the date only because it is really sweet, but I don't want to think anything that Christopher does is sweet because I don't like. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Then those of you who are like John, I think you're gonna like this episode. Yes. You, you, read, you read me well. You, you read me well. Admit. It's perfect for your birthday, you know? It's such a perfect episode for your She had to bring science <laughs> <to this. laughs> I'd love to be able to blame my breakups on pheromones. That sounds fun. <laughs> I, I also hate that she says that my mother told me because it proves that Anna was kind of right. People get engaged all, all the time and Anna sort of saw this breakup. <laughs> Mitosis is yeah. insane. <laughs> and Mandy, that was him telling her for the first time after she spent time with Lorelai and bonded. She's yeah. so excited. I think they are. <laughs> the cop is like, I'm uh, excited. That's a lot of privilege right there. <laughs> I just love that she takes pictures of the cops. In that same thing, Rachel. Yeah, that always kind of bothered me, the way she oh. talks to the police. Who, Emily, talks to the police? Yeah. yeah. But you she just have to, to everybody with the same disdain, though. You have to appreciate how Lorelai is just reveling in this moment. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's hilarious. hilarious. That's, He's so, so delighted. delighted. That's, That's not so helping funny. the situation. Just light on her face. <laughs> and the fact that she doesn't have a clue of what's going on between Lorelai and Chris, though. So is Emily sitting next to the cooler now? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Them two smiling at each other is quite cute, though. <laughs> hey, you're not changing. By no stretch of the imagination, am I a team Chris person? But I. I just love the fact of people with shared history kind of like giggling along with each other. It's so cute. It is really. Yeah, I agree. They Rachel, both bonded I'm, over Emily. Rachel, I'm trying the devil spit on Ooh. my Chinese. Let me know what you think. Lorelai's been waiting for this moment for so long and she's so happy. Yeah, since birth. 34 years. Is this normal in college to bring people you just met home to I your apartment? Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, they kind of knew parents and college. So they knew like mutual. But is it normal for them to walk around and just make themselves at home when they don't even know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I, yeah. well, I, I was in college at some I would have been like so offended. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? It's just it's Hunts Burgers, anyway. It's not even uh it's Yeah, even maybe burgers. Rory's probably enjoying it. Having it's nice to have people around. Fun girl. One time I brought about a group of six or seven girls back to my apartment. I'd probably spoken to them for a total of 20 minutes and I just <laughs> brought them back. <laughs> and I one of them asked to go to the bathroom in my room, and I was like. Maybe I didn't think this through. This seems like a bad idea. No. <laughs> I know. I would like, be like very skeptical of doing that. I went I and like, like hid my laptop. Good... I feel like Lucy would be such a good friend to have. 100%. 
At one point, five girls lived in the same house with me. So it was always a madhouse and just packed. We didn't know half the people that were in our house because they were our roommates friends. So it was normal. I lived with five boys and it was a very interesting six months. Oh, no, she's missing her. I like that, though. I really want a popcorn maker like that. Jesus Christ. That yeah, popcorn that's not how you use that popcorn maker. That's a fire hazard. Place. No, it is not. Definitely. But I really want one. <laughs> I mean, he's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, your mother in jail that you've been waiting for versus a barn driving movie. He is so impatient, though. I don't know. He could use a little bit of that. Uh, her hair is killing me because the dress is perfect. Everything's perfect, but that hair is terrible oh i was thinking the same same thing the hair glad you said the hair the hair the right hair. i'm sorry uh, the hair is going to get fixed it's just so fuzzy that hair it's just like fuzzy wuzzy fuzzy wuzzy 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 So wonderful, yes. so marvelous. marvelous. Oh, that was yeah. so quick. That was a good episode. Yeah. That was so a good, good episode. I'm sorry, but that was a good episode. Yeah. I love that. Was a good episode. I get it. I get it, Andy. I get why you would, why it would ruffle your feathers. It's all feather boa. Your pink feather boa. Um, but I thought it was a solid episode. Oh yeah, I so thought John, it was a solid episode. No come? long dialogue. Yeah. No long dialogue. Everything felt like the pacing just felt to me Better. spot on. I loved the the banter and the hu the jokes were also really in the groove. And I don't know. This is also just like my own personal thing, but I'm just really so relieved that they didn't just drop that april stuff like a rock you know they have any weird um, camera angles what's up they also didn't have any like weird um close-up angles either like they did for the yeah other episode yeah just felt it felt in the style let's bring some other folks up here and see whether or not they felt the same and also okay. it's my birthday party so come on up here hang mm. out how many glasses or shots have you had of whiskey? I love how Steph's picture has just <laughs> increasingly gotten more and more. That's awesome. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is hard. Um, John, I, uh, do this? I've only, I've only um, had one. I've, I've only had the equivalent of one shot of, uh, of whiskey, but I, I do have a new bottle, a brand new bottle of Crown Royal Black in, in oh, honor wow. of, our, Wait, of our Canadian guys, friends. You guys notice that there's one upside down, John, though? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. We also have a side. We also have a sideways John. We've got a John with poutine. We've got. Oh no! Now Erin. Hi everybody. Now Erin. I I think Erin just created like a stick figure version of me. Yeah, I thought I would draw my hand. I'm mostly black. Did someone say cat? I was I thought I'd draw my hat at creating. Yeah, stuff is like multiplying, like. As the night's went on. Okay. Yeah, but just but that's not the I reach my right picture. <laughs> I got chills. The multiplier. All right. So. Oh, I just saw okay. it. What's next? Let me just clarify. If this episode had Queen happened Regina in go. season two, 
it would have been one of my favorites. Regina Gillen. The time for them has passed. No longer like it at all. Mandy has very strong feelings on. I really wait, do. Wait, wait, say again. <laughs> M- Mandy, Mandy, you're low. Okay. Hey, Mandy, hold on. You have okay. the floor. Hit it. All right. So if this episode had happened in season two, it would have been one of my favorites. Same. I feel like the time for them has passed. Yep. Yep. So now I, it's just really hard for me to accept. Yep. yep. It's like I said. Oh, yeah. 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 Agree, well, this man. tells me this tells me that there's more of it to come, because as of right now, I have no real sense that there's much more of this than this. Like, are we guessing? Should I should I should I assume that should I assume that this is the beginning of something that don't grows? assume. You don't need to assume anything. Just take your you prediction. Look at how the episode ended. How did the episode end? He finally made it over the threshold. We'll That's drop true. it in a moment for wink. you. He's yeah, good. True, but he did he did sort of make it over the threshold a couple of times. I mean, do you mean like she's she's accepted like we're together now? Well, she's invited him in. She told him she didn't trust him. She didn't know if it was a good idea to go over all of that. And then by the end of the night. She's invited him in. So clearly what she had said before isn't applying anymore. I think a little bit of that was what everyone else was telling her, like Suki and Rory being like, oh, be careful. And she was like, oh, okay, I should be careful. I think a little bit of that caution did come from others. I think it came down to that speech she gave him where she said that anybody else would have thought she was nuts the way she was about her mom being in jail and that she realized that he understands her and, and uh, gets her yep, in ways yep, that people yep. wouldn't. I agree. Yeah, with I agree with that. Them. We haven't seen them I, like go on a proper date and I, have like a night like this. I mean, we've seen them have sex. We've seen them cross, you know, cross paths, but I don't think we've seen them in this form. So I don't think their time has passed because they haven't really done this. I I think if it was with Luke, he would understand. Like he went through a lot with Lorelai and Lorelai's time with Emily. So I think he would understand just as well as Christopher. Real is true. Familiarity but like, I think... the only, is familiarity the only thing that one needs to prove that they're meant for each other though? I, I mean, think for her. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely for not. Lorelai, yeah. I wasn't saying that I, I, I wasn't saying that Luke wouldn't get it. I was just saying that's where I see her changing her mind was after she told him that stuff and she kind of in her own mind she kind of realized maybe this could work maybe i can trust it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm not saying Chris. that he's necessarily her forever man i'm just saying that's where i think she's coming from just like yesterday's episode she was i don't know if i like what i like and, and then also maybe i do like chris at the end of when he tells her the stuff that she wants to hear yeah so, i don't I'm know if these two are right for each other in the long term but I will say one, I'll say two things. One, uh, this was an, a, a totally romantic and sweet gesture that he did and really nice date that they went on. Uh, not just from my own, like how, like how I, my own opinion of it, but also what I think that Lorelai would feel about it. And then I would also say to your, to your question, while no familiarity is not like a prerequisite for being a soulmate, I do think that like it's helpful. <laughs> I think that I think that if if two people have a sort of uh, like a you know they have like a shorthand together, and I mean you know uh, uh, that can also just mean two people who are really good friends, and that could be the fate of these two that they just remain the parents of their of their daughter and they just remain friends but both of them have feelings for one another in some way certainly he does and so i think familiarity is an asset to these two it's what makes these two make sense within the context of their of of their relationship of what they have uh oh yeah I do also think that Luke and Lorelai have a particular familiarity, which I also think is really valuable. I don't know if I'd say that Luke would 
have like been laughing and enjoying that whole situation the same way that Chris did. Um, I mean, Chris really did feel like he and Lorelai were kind of fully on the same page there where I could see Luke kind of finding it somewhat humorous, but I, I, I don't imagine him really going all the way with Lorelai in that way, that the I, way that Chris did. I think I'm Coral like, has some thoughts. So was I. Oh, no, go ahead. I was just saying, because Coral's done the bottom. Oh, right. Yeah. So cool. I'm half with Mandy and half with Chris, because, like, I kind of have, I kind of relate to Lorelai and Chris in a sense where, like, I mean, I'm not dating anybody, obviously, but I have a person that's been in my life for, okay, I'm 28. We met when we were 10, so almost 20 years. And we have that familiarity and we have that kind of, he's kind of seen me through my like weird points and like my crazy points and he kind of gets my like thing and stuff like that. So like the things that I laugh at that seem like deranged and mental to people, he understands I understands that quite like Chris understands um, Lorelai's crazy antics and what she finds funny that other people wouldn't. But that doesn't necessarily mean that me and him would be right just because we have x amount of years because just because and this is very apparent with chris and lorelei just because they have x amount of years and they have a kid together doesn't mean that they're necessarily supposed to be with each other because they have yes they have that like history but until you like live with someone and are married to someone and spend more than just like a few hours together you don't really know a person and how they work and how they interact with and how they act around certain situations until you're put in that situation. So. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, agree. Um, uh, I think Car Carl went next and also Tasha, if you can help me moderate some of those folks, I might not notice folks that are, whose mics are flashing the bottom and uh, watch yeah, out for that gotcha. would be super helpful. Thank you. Carl, let's hear what you have to say about this. I, I'm half guessing, but I'd love to hear it. I just wanted to say happy birthday, John Cabrera. Yeah. Yes, happy birthday, John. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Um, we haven't sang happy birthday, birthday yet. Happy Thank birthday. you. No, 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 no. Let's not sing happy birthday birth? just yet. I got one thing, and then y'all can just go off. I just want to say happy birthday, John Frieda Cabrera. I hope you have enjoyed 46 years with a name that sounds like you would be destined to be a man of the cloth. Always wear <laughs> your full name with pride. Uh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. No one has ever said that. But you were absolutely right. John Peter is a very Catholic name. Um, thank you, Carl. That was Are you going to sing for him, Carl? Let's Can go. We all we all I'm not doing all that. Love no friends. <laughs> Just wants to say happy birthday, John. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Is your birthday? You're drunk. Aaron's avatar keeps changing. I'm very John, did you see Aaron's avatar? Are you now? <laughs> we seriously old sound like we're now? drunk. I mean, Aaron's, Aaron's avatar is still the, the little stick figure. Aaron, yep. I love that. <laughs> but I, I love that it. I, just, I must admit. I look at it, it changes. It just cracks me up. I mean, I, I must admit that's all I have to say because um, I do have to bounce. But I did want to say happy birthday to John. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. Bye, Bye friends. Bye, Carl. Bye. 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 I'll see y'all later. Well, my kids are cute. <laughs> that was beautiful. Friend two. Oh God, no! <laughs> Is that still being recorded? And everyone was off key. <laughs> everyone was singing, but everyone was like off by like a couple seconds. It I felt like I was in beautiful. that speech jammer, <laughs> and I felt like I was more drunk than I am right now. And I'm What's funny drunk. is like when when you really when you try to sing together, 
you know, because we're all sort of slightly out of sync, you know, just in terms of the, you know, clubhouse's own servers Randy. hearing yeah. it. You you try, you actually start to try to to slow yourself down in order to in order to get in sync with other people. But then that means that they hear you now suddenly in a different sync. So then they attempt to try and we also sound like slow we're down. slurring basically. And so everyone is just we sound <laughs> Oh my god! So is what we said. Happy birthday, John. Um, and you were talking about Luke's hat earlier in the episode. Yes. And um, I was listening to Scott's podcast today. I'm pretty behind, but in one of the ones I listened to today, um, he was asked about the Joining blue us. hat about the. He, he they were talking about the episode where Lorelai gives him the blue hat for Christmas. Gotcha. And I guess they had a like you know he has like fans come on and ask questions and stuff. And so they were asking about the hat and like like how did they come to the conclusion for her to give him a blue hat? What was the significance of you know and he said that um he went and had like a they had a lunch one time with the writers and all that and it, like he kind of suggested like wearing a hat and like like well I have blue eyes so it should match my eyes so it wasn't like some like big thing it was just like a passing comment and they're like Oh yeah, I guess she could give it to you or whatever. <laughs> Interesting. But it also means that it it also <clears throat> tells me part of why I absolutely loathe that black hat. It doesn't go with his eyes. And it's also <laughs> over his it's ears. It's also over, over his, his ears. ears. It doesn't fit him quite right. When you it's see it from large, the front, it looks like he's wearing a beanie and too. it's just awful. It just so, doesn't match his eyes. It is awful. So, so, some people with that style of hat do wear it over their ears. And some people will buy it a little larger because when their hair comes in, they have room for you know their them to still wear that hat. But a lot of people around me at yeah, least, same with wear their ears thing. tucked in and that's just the style. And yes. how do you feel about that style, Hannah? I think it's absolutely stupid and my boyfriend wears it and he looks like a <laughs> My son does it also when I think it's, it's ridiculous. I, I <laughs> finally got him to wear a regular emotion. baseball cap and he's absolutely fine with it and now he's rocking Texas gear, but he'll, he'll go back to that type of hat. I'm like, you got to put it away. It doesn't even match what you're wearing in the first place and you look like a doofus. Hannah, what do you think about snapbacks? Because we had that discussion last night. About what? Snapbacks. But the, the, the type of hat that, 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 you know, snap. Yeah, the snap. I, I mean, I personally don't like them, but I don't really care, I guess. I don't like the, um, the sliding ones. Yeah, no, the sliding ones suck, but the, yeah, the, the snapbacks are just fantastic. And also, I do think that it's that it was very telling that all of the women, all <laughs> were, or not all of them, but most of them were into the snapbacks, and then just like three guys were <laughs> were into this <laughs> non snapback thing. But guys, the men are what wrong. If it's a metaphor. They're tucking in his ears because he's tucking his feelings. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think it's all awesome. Yeah, it's a lot for a hat. Well, there's going his through a ears breakup. Are, his ears are a up. metaphor for his feelings. When he does the black hat, though, too, it's kind of sad because that's it. Kind of feels like it's signifying the end of his and Lorelai's relationship, you know. And it's like he's like, "Well, I'm not going to wear the hat she gave me," you know. Well, it's <laughs> I think that is what it is. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. that's what he's definitely doing. And the black yeah. is probably a choice for that reason. I'm funny. not completely sure that they said, and you know, we should also have it tucked, your ears tucked in because Only that may one. signify. <laughs> <laughs> one yeah, we, ear. You want to tuck in one ear. Like, today we're going to tuck one ear in. It's going to it's gonna be a metaphor for the fact that you're kind of in and kind of out. <laughs> you're not sure which hey, one you want to go with. you're you making wanna... <laughs> fun, but I'm just saying, keep a lookout. It might just happen. <laughs> Also, harvest uh -oh. everyone. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> method know. acting. Method acting, man. <laughs> hey, John. Mm -hmm. Did you put the co-host thing on for Colonel? Yeah, you're there, Tasha. You got to get okay. that pay. <laughs> Not why I'm just You're going to get paid, Tasha. Don't you worry. Well, I got some real money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? If that were the case, can we eventually exchange kernels for actual money? Yeah, John, when's that going to happen? Oh, gosh. Never. If I, if I, if like I got paid in kernel in cash, like I do in kernels, I'd be fine without a job for another month. So, I can see a world. John. Yes. Uh, you had this call about Anna Nardini earlier. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling real, real good about this. How good are we feeling, John? Did I'm feeling good. Went? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're going to have good. a little bit of, I don't know if they're going to become a full-fledged couple, uh, but we are, going to, we are going to be flirting with, should these two be together? So, and we're gonna have Anna. We're gonna have um, April is going to be partly instigating some of it, I think. And I am feeling, I'm feeling good. So, I mean, I I don't know how many people know this, but I took a step back from Facebook a little bit and haven't really done a lot of social things. And I feel like because I've missed a little bit, I think you and I should put a little wager on this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make up my kernel somehow. That is a great idea. <laughs> well, now you I see that. you seem to either you're really, really a good actor and are trying to get my kernel trying back. to confuse me here you you it sounds like you're spoiling me right now i don't know ah! no spoiler oh, maybe please. i haven't seen the we season don't yet do i don't know so john should i so i'm gonna ask the room i'm gonna ask the room is this a fair bet should i should i should i take this bet by my flash feel about it john is the thing do okay. whatever you think it's fair i think you should <laughs> So are we uh, Can we, we say, say that without giving anything away? It's your birthday. All right, I'm gonna do a mod. I'm gonna do a modest one. I'm a I'm fraud gonna do a before one. I have. Oh, I'm gonna do a modest one. Anna, 100 kernels. If it is even insinuated that these two should be together. That's I, channel, right? You gotta. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you. I appreciate this. I take it and I accept it. And if I lose, hats off to you and an extra happy birthday. But you know, what? you know what? You know what you're going to gonna lose. She said she hasn't if, seen this season. If what? If you, but you, but you've, you've seen this. You don't know. You know, if you're, you're going to know if you're going to, you already know if you're going to win. You just no. won a hundred kernels. Oh, don't. No, no. She said she hadn't seen this season yet, John. She said, mm -hmm. no, she said, what if I haven't? Oh, that's what it Okay. One, well, what if I haven't? And one, also, two, what if I, the last time I actually truly seen this season was when it came out? And I only watch snippets here and there, you know, every once in a while. I so I truly that, don't remember. Uh, I, I, I think that we are going to have some insinuation in some way, shape, or form, even in the smallest bit, that says that maybe Luke should, he should be with, with, with Anna, or should at least... Uh, like at least consider the option of being with Anna. Like I think that 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 will be played with in some way, shape, or form. I don't know exactly how. I'm not saying that they're going to like get together. I don't even know if they're going to kiss, but I do know. Okay, but I, we're talking even like hand holding, flirting, anything, right? Does does you even have look, to think that it's a possibility for it? To well, I mean, just like narratively, I'm I'm just talking about narratively. Narratively, like there's going to be something in the narrative that tells us that the writers are conscious about the idea of these two as a couple, whether or not either of them reciprocates or whatnot, but that that will be brought forward. Up until now, we have not had any sense that these two are on the trajectory towards being a couple, whether, you know, like th th it's been this sense of like, the only thing they share is that they happen to share a daughter. And I am, I am guessing that at some point this season, 
the writers will bring in the idea, the thought to the audience that perhaps these two should look to rekindle what they had many years ago. I like mean, the writers will do that, not necessarily the characters, but like we as an audience will see clear writing that says these two have been together and could potentially be together. And maybe that's what we should be rooting for. I mean, you know, Anna Nardini really did look pretty good. What's up? Yeah, I agree, John. She looked especially pretty today. She, she looked, looked nice really, to go to she grandma. Really beautiful. She looked beautiful. It seemed like it was a sort of dis like deliberate, like, hey, she she had a very Lorelei style to her with her dress and whatnot. It just felt like that's what we that that's what we're setting up for. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am wrong, and, hundred and kernels to is, you, Hannah. Okay. If I am wrong, hundred kernels to you. If I'm right. 20,000 kernels to me. I don't even think collectively. <laughs> I don't think anybody but you have. I mean, who has 20,000 kernels? John. Oh, oh no, you're, oh no, I, I, I forgot to mention, you're going to have to get those 20,000 kernels from the rest of the community. Did I Hell no. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> I love my little friend. Okay. I'm not in on this bet. I love so, John, here's, Take a, Regina anyway. Gill out of that here's my question for you. Yeah. Do you want them to get together? Yeah. Um, I want them to, I want them to, Entertain uh, the idea. I want them to, to find some, at least explore some sense of, of like explore the possibility that they can find happiness together. I, I, I would like them to at least explore that before we return to what is you know what is ob obviously the 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 stronger love story that's sort of playing underneath all of this which is luke and lorelei I, in the time that those two characters are trying to understand who they are i do think that the idea that he could find some some romantic happiness with somebody else and i and i get it like that like romantic happiness doesn't necessarily need to be the only happiness i'm i would be perfectly happy if they continue this i'm being a dad i'm getting into all of this but the reason why i think that it's it, it's good for the luke character is that he's been he has been from the get-go i think even more so than lorelei I think Luke has been presented to us as a like lonely character, you know, a character who, you know, who needs somebody in his life in that way. That episode where he's talking about about his uncle Louie is still really like reson it really resonates with me because I do think that he could become a Louie. Like if things were not right for him, like and he was sort of stayed solitary and lonely he would get grumpier and grouchier and he could potentially become a louis that everybody I can't stand and so i think that he needs companionship in that way i do think that lorelei is the, the right companion for him but in this time where they're off i do think that it might be helpful for him to explore something else in the same way that she's exploring something else here's but my Jennifer question where are we in live. the episode that we're talking about Oh, we're just like bouncing around. It's my birthday, so I'm drinking, oh, you know, having some he's Chinese He's talking food. about his um, predictions and what he thinks could or could not happen. And what Christian. do you think about Lorelai and Chris? I, and if you yeah. talked about it last night, I'm really sorry I wasn't here, but like, what do you think about <clears throat> Well, I have been pretty clear that I don't have the same problem with those two the way that other people do. While I totally recognize that, really the story is about the love between Lorelai and Luke. And, and because of that, Christopher is narratively an obstacle. It, you know, as a character, he doesn't rub me the wrong way. And this episode, I think he was, he was absolutely charming. And, and I think that they had a great date <laughs> and it was, and, and, Lorelai seemed happier than she's been in the past like 10 episodes that we've watched with her. And so so I'm 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 content right now. Uh yeah, I'm content right now. You know, this season it, it, these last two episodes I've been 
cool. I've been pleased with. Just gonna say. Shauna's been flashing, John. Just so you know, she's kind of down lower down. Shauna. God, I'm a bad moderator. Okay, so I have the same opinion as you do, John. When it comes to Chris, I have a really soft spot for him for some reason. I know that's not the majority of the vote, but hey, whatever. But I mean, he he's been a part of Lorelai's life for a really long time. Um, he's actually been the only, besides her dad, I mean, has been the only man that has followed her through the different stages of her life. Maybe just because they've had a kid together, but still, I mean, he's been there. You know, he knows her. Um, they're, uh, um, they're not, they may, they may not end up together, but they're together now and he's what's making her happy and she's what's making him happy right now. And I think with Luke, the whole thing is, is that Luke is getting to know his daughter. MJ Totally. Who? MJ. MJ, let's hear it. Um, so I just had a couple of things. Um, I hate his hat. It drives me insane. It is I a terrible cannot, hat. I Let's just say it. it's a, just an awful hat. Yeah, it really is. Um, this was actually one of my favorite episodes of the season because I had a really hard time with season seven, but I absolutely loved this episode. I thought it was, they did an amazing job. Yeah. And I love seeing Emily get arrested. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it too. I loved uh, it too. I mean, it was a charming aspect to that character that makes me like that character more than I are. Yeah, it was, I love her line with the breathalyzer. Oh my gosh, There's I know. Not I'm not in my mouth. <laughs> uh, um, Anna, I got to run, run, but I just wanted to say happy birthday, and I absolutely love this, and I hope you had an amazing day. Brian has literally always been one of my favorite characters, so you're just, it's just amazing to watch this with you. Thank we you so Anna, much, MJ. Birthday. I'm really glad that you're here as well. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. We have Anna and we have Nicole flashing. Anna. Good evening. Happy birthday, John. Hello. I just wanted basically to say that because I'm getting ready to go to bed now. Um, but I hope you had a wonderful day. This is definitely a very fun episode to have for your birthday. It was a good episode for my birthday, I think. Yeah. All right, guys, have fun. Drink responsibly. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Anna. Why not Hi, Anna. Hey, yeah. Nicole, you wanted to you wanted to chime in with some wisdom. Um, yeah. So, um, one of my questions is to you, to everybody, like going on the whole like Christopher, like, like you know, you were saying she didn't seem so happy. Lorelai didn't seem so happy in the last few episodes because of all, you know, April thing and whatever. The last but few one, episodes, the last like 10 episodes. She's yeah. been just like turning into like a, a shell of a woman over the past yeah. like half a season. Yeah. And so, you know, A, I like April. I don't like Anna because of how she is, but I like April. She's cute. She, I think Luke really needed to have a daughter like a kid just to you know kind of help him become a better person <laughs> but at the same time it's like you talk about oh maybe Anna or maybe you know so with regards to let's say Luke was not Luke and Lorelai were not endgame you know who would you pick for each of them of all the people that they've dated besides each other oh that's a good question i mean with with luke we haven't really seen him date a anyone except nicole and that's it right rachel. oh and rachel rachel, rachel and nicole mm -hmm. i'm not really hip on either rachel and nicole um 
And I don't really know what Anna Nardini and his relationship have been. And I don't know the Anna Nardini character enough yet to say that I have any opinion of her other than she kind of reminds me in some ways of Lorelai. And so because of that, I don't have a reason to to really like dislike her in in a in a you know in any sort of big way uh so if i think it harder for me for luke because i, I wouldn't really want to see him with rachel or with nicole personally i think rachel is kind of boring and nicole just i was not into that relationship but um with lorelei with lorelei Pick Max I, the Babs, you'll like it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going Max. Sorry, I'm not going Max. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I probably... Christopher. Just say it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Besides okay. Luke, is that who we're talking yeah, yeah, besides yeah. Luke. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Besides, but besides Luke, and I, and I actually, he, I would go far further Hi. to say that I actually think that Chris would be way more palatable as a potential love interest for Lorelai if he wasn't so much the conflict, wasn't so much the obstacle from what is so clearly the end game. Hey. If there was no Luke, I don't know. I mean, maybe there would some, be some, some, you know, resistance towards Christopher, but I think that it wouldn't be quite as high as it is. It's the fact that he's so much of an obstacle to a love story that we care about, that he is unpalatable. But if you remove Luke from the situation completely, you say he's not there anymore. I I think that they're that that they have a, a great they have a great dynamic. For a moment, little scooper. There are some parts of Scooper that there are some parts of Scooper that I you know I was actually trying debating because there was a few a few scoopy Scooper. some scoopy things in there that I thought were kind of yeah I thought that they were kind of nice I mean I really I I you know I remember Kendra you were like all into into the digger and I just didn't get it and then somewhere in the middle of the season it kind of clicked for me and I was like oh I I kind of like this guy you know, in some ways for Lorelai. By the end of the season, it had diminished, but. For me, with absolutely, he disappointed me in the end. But in the yeah. beginning, I quite liked him. For me, and I like Chris right now. That date kills me every time because it's like dream date. Like you, kills you in a good way or kills you yes. in a bad way? Yes like yeah it's a good that date. would be the most perfect date ever for it's me for me like i like if we're talking digger the only time that like i was not rooting for him but i liked him in the sense that like we mentioned this way back when the episode aired but the supermarket episode where they had their date in a supermarket um because like the banter is there and I've said this many times I'm a person who is a sucker for a guy that can do banter it's extremely attractive to, attractive to me and like if we're talking banter him and Lorelai have really good banter that's just my thing however and I've said this before only because we didn't get a lot of time with him I'm not a fan of Chris and Lorelai. I'm not a fan of Luke and Lorelai because there's way too much drama. I am a huge fan, and only because we didn't get a lot of time with them, is Alex and Lorelai because Alex yeah. seems the most normal out of all of them. He, granted, like Dave Rogalski, he wasn't seen much, so we don't know what kind of drama he could have ensued and what could have happened to him. But just with what we've seen of him, I like him solely because he's the most normal out of the ones that she's dated and he gets her coffee addiction. He owns a damn coffee shop for crying out loud. And he just like, he's cute. He just like, seems like he'd be a good fit. And it just, I don't know. He, my, my, my <laughs> the only thing about Alex is the same thing that I feel about Nard, uh, about Anna Nardini right now, which is, is that I just don't know him well enough to be able to make a really firm decision on 
whether I think they're right for each other. That's sort of the, the way I feel with Anna. But Anna um, has been on more than Alex, though. Yeah, so that's true. So we know true. Anna a little bit more. A little bit more, but I still need to know Anna a little bit more what, for me to be able to say whether I, to be able to answer the question of whether or not she's the person that I'd want him to be with outside of Lorelai. Um, but I, uh, but with Alex, it's like, I just, I mean, he's just, he's literally just uh, like a, a body in front of the camera <laughs> in my, in, you know, in terms of like what I remember him, it just, I just didn't get enough of him to know anything about him. Sure, and we so, have Mandy that's flashing. Yeah, Mandy. Uh, I just want to ask um, a question because during the episode, you said that you've noticed that Lorelai has changed from the earlier seasons. I just was curious um, to know what your current opinion is of Lorelai. Because I know oh, yeah. I mean, you thought she was quite immature. Yeah. And that's not sort of, that's sort of what I meant. You know, I mean, they, they kind of, I mean, they, they still bring it back, like, but it's a little bit more joking. Um, like with the, the whole scene with the suitcase and pulling all of that, all of the clothes out, all of her clothes out. But that seemed a little bit more in jest. In general, she's, she just seems like she's come a long way in terms of understanding herself a bit more. Um, and, uh, and I, I mean, I, I would say she's, she's really high up there. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm still a big Emily fan, but I will say that that Rory has sort of faded for me in terms of like, you know, a character that I'm like super invested in what's going on with her um, and 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 have like like I mean, if I were to rate the three right now, Rory would be absolutely at the bottom um, of the three of them where she was she was she was sort of closer you know Emily I just like I loved her from the get-go just because I, I there's just something about that character that's just so dynamic and so much fun uh uh but <laughs> but Rory was was pretty high up there in terms of like I was really into her story and really like cared about and I've lost a lot of that whereas like the opposite is now the case I think that like Lorelai is pretty high high up there and I don't know I could end the, I could end this series with Lorelai being on top in terms of the, the 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 Gilmore girl that I'm the most that I'm that I'm the most into. So between <laughs> Anna flipping? and Chris have been flashing. Between what? Poutine, Hannah, Anna. I mean, my bad. <laughs> Canadian ha Anna has been flashing. <laughs> oh, what? She, she, said, she, 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 told me. she said Poutine, Anna, and Chris have been flashing. <laughs> and I thought she said between Anna and Chris. And I, was I, I was gonna say, I was like, between <laughs> Anna and Chris. Like, are you kidding me? Are we really going there? Like Anna Nardini and Chris? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. They would not work. Anna. <laughs> not, no, Poutine, Anna, Canadian Anna has been flashing. Sorry, All I'm right. a little bit more tipsy. <laughs> All right, Anna. Thank you. I just wanted to say I have to go to bed because I have to work tomorrow, but I wanted to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Thank you. And um, thank you for all that you do for us. Oh. We second that. Here, yes, here. Thank fourth you. Down, fifth here, here. Well, I'm having I'm having a very What's good time too. So it isn't it it there there's some selfishness selfishness on my part. Um I'm loving this. You're just a selfish you monster. Yeah, monster. One to ten, uh, John. Where are you on the scale? On the on who for what? On the drunk scale and happiness. On, on the on the drunk scale. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm about to crack open my Crown Royal. Oh, okay. oh damn! I'm I'll like go ahead and, five and uh, start yelling at you, Wolfie. Second, Anna's Ooh. point. I am heading to bed as well. But happy birthday, John. Thank Me you. Too. Happy birthday. Tomorrow night I won't see you all because I'll be at Margaritaville. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, wow. So I'll be thinking about you all. Good night. All right. Happy Good night. Birthday. Good Thank night, you, folks. Sabrina. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, ladies. Good night. Um, okay, Chris. Um, John, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. So John, I was gonna say, um, if if it's okay, since you were talking about Rory. I wanted to ask you two questions. One, well, wait, hold on. You... Before you ask this question, sure. before you ask those questions, I just want to give any other folks who were like, "Hey, I just wanted to say happy birthday." I need to head out. I want to give them a chance so that they don't feel like, "Oh, now, now I have to wait in order to to." Um, That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
really Kristen's been flashing. I'll go ahead and do that because I have to get up early. So happy birthday, John. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, I'm heading out to have a good birthday. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah. Because he's going really loud and I'm afraid to talk. Love you, Sherry. Hey, Jules. Hey. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Great time. And <laughs> I just have to say, I'm so, so happy that you finally have been able to join us with this. Thank you. It's been super fun figuring it all out and, and getting to join in. It's funny because I, you know, I'm, I'm three hours earlier than you guys. So um, when you start your watch, I'm still at work, but I like to listen to you guys react to the show, yeah. even though I'm not watching it with you, because I can I listen mean, at work. But I it, can't is watch. Part, it is part of the joy of this is just it's hearing so us fun. like, it's completely like. Wait, Jules, where are you from? I'm in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot. Hawaii? You're in Who's in Hawaii? Right? Who, who lives in Jules? Jules at the oh. at the bottom. What I you're four What island? island? Yeah. I'm on Maui. Oh, awesome. I I used to, I grew up on Oahu. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're it's been really fun. Behind, yeah. Um, three hours right now, and then I think we're only two once daylight savings happens because we don't do it here. So yeah. Oh yeah. That's... Yeah. So it'll be a little easier even after that. <laughs> Forever <laughs> summertime. Right. Uh, just always. <laughs> hey, so, so Jules question, um, yeah. cause we've been, we, we've been friends, um, for over a decade. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you, and you've been a Gilmore Girls fan since then, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Um, and I'm now just for the first time watching it. Right. So like back when we first so met, like you are a fan of the show, but I just hadn't, didn't know anything about anything really. about it. Anything. Right. Now I'm watching it. Um, uh, what do you think of season seven? Um, you know, it's funny. Cause I, like I said, I haven't been able to watch with you guys. So I'm a little, like, I'm trying to remember every time, every episode that you guys are doing. I'm like, Oh, what happened this, that, this time. But, um, yeah, I, I do feel like, you know, I mean, I liked it all. Um, but I did feel like it kind of, sorry, that's my cat. She sounds very angry all the time. It's just, <laughs> she, she just wants all my attention all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really, I liked it. Um, but I didn't, I feel like maybe I wasn't as connected to season seven as, um, some of the earlier seasons. Did you know that the writers had left the show? No, I didn't know that until I heard you guys talking about it, that, uh, fireside chat the other day. Yeah. Interesting. I'm learning that like, actually a lot of fans don't really know that. I didn't yeah. know that. That's interesting. Yeah. That's that's really interesting. I, I guess I assumed that that was just a thing that everyone knows, but. Um, yeah, no, that was news. Well, that's um, cool. It's cool that you're that you're listening to us and like trying to remember like what we're right. talking about here. Do I remember the scene? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I was talking to my partner recently because he's never watched Gilmore Girls, but I, you know, I have watched it multiple stages. And when it first came out, Gosh, what was it? Was like early two thousands, right? Like, uh, I can't. Yeah, it was, it was. It was. Yeah, from two thousand one, two thousand one, or two thousand to uh, to two thousand seven. Okay, yeah. So I think I was pregnant when it first came out, and I was eighteen, and so like, and so I was. So really you, were like, you were like, I really identify with this. Show. With both of them, with both of them, because you know I was a teen mom, but also like I was still a teenager. <laughs> like, right. Um, and then you know, and then when my kiddo got older, we watched it again together, and um, and that was really fun. Except you know, I of course identified way more with Lorelai at that point. <laughs> but you have a, you have was, a son, correct? Actually, um, yeah, she's trans, so she's uh, oh. she's identifying as a um, female, and she's going by Callie now. <laughs> ah, and yeah. And, and so, uh, how how old was she when you when you started watching? Was she a teen? Yeah. She was a teen. Yeah. I, I want to say like somewhere between 12 and 14 is when we watched it all together. A great age. Interesting. I had, yeah. I had never, I had never thought about this idea that like 
a teen mom might watch the show and then be at this really interesting place where I can actually identify with both of these characters yeah. simultaneously, which is not something that most fans can do. They either are one or the other, right? Like right. either I'm a teen and I, I identify with Rory and, or I'm, you know, a, a single mother and I identify with, with uh, Lorelai. Right. Yeah. It was super interesting to be thinking. Cause I was like, you know, I was so connected with the show. Like it really like spoke to me and, and I was try, kind of trying to figure that out. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I think I just, it was, it was me from multiple angles. So it's like really, really nice for me to kind of be able to relate. Plus I was, you know, I was a single mom and I was very isolated because my friends were all, you know, teenagers partying and stuff. And I was, a mom so like it wow. was um yeah it was really nice to kind of have that kind of oh you know like a it might get better like Lorelai has a life you know <laughs> so, and b like to really feel like I'm not the only one in that experience it was really great for me so yeah super connected to that show it's always Very. gonna have su it was such a special place for me in my heart <laughs> that's awesome um I'm I'm gonna give anybody else who's uh, who's feeling like they are winding down for the evening and want to head out the, the chance to um, to say goodbye if they'd like to say goodbye before I hand it back over to Chris who I know you had something that you wanted to ask. Yeah, I'm gonna um, jump off the couch. I just wanted to say happy birthday, and I will I'll sit and listen for a little while longer. Awesome. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, John. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And I definitely have enough strength to celebrate your birthday. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just gonna jump in very quickly. I'm gonna stick around, but I also know how sleepy I get when I drink, so I could very easily pass out on Clubhouse. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I know. Well, it's, it's hey, good yeah, to hear it. Up. Yeah, I just wanted to say, like. In general, I'm so grateful for you, John, for everything you've done. I'm grateful for these watches, this little community I've created and seeing you all every day. And that all comes back to you, John. So I'm just so grateful for this. And uh, you deserve the best of birthdays. And I hope it's felt like that for you. Oh, it's been amazing. I'm been so amazing. glad. Hi, John. I just wanted to also add my voice to the chorus and say happy birthday. And thanks for a uh, great summer um i go back to school go back to work at two different schools tomorrow and i'm terrified <laughs> oh goodness know, um it's anyway yeah so but happy birthday and um and i hope you enjoyed all of the things that um we gave you today and um and or i hope you've already seen some of the things that have been sent and um and it was um, really fun to join in with this amazing family and, and community that you've created um, to wish you a happy birthday and to give you the credit that is certainly due to you. And thanks for continuing to think about us and think, think about ways to, to, uh, to entertain us and challenge us. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think some of us are still recovering from that memento. Oh, there's more to come. Don't worry. Oh, oh, oh don't yeah, you worry. We are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm entering entering my school year, so um, working at two different schools. So I'm hoping that I'll still be able to um, to pop in and um, take part. And of course, there's all sorts of other um, things coming up. Like I'd love to help out with uh, being an archivist or whatever that role yeah. is. Um, so I saw that in, in um, uh, Discord. Um, so, sorry, um, yeah, I had Discord two beers. Another, <laughs> you had two. Did you I've say I had two drank. beers? <laughs> yes, I've uh, never. Have I driven beers. everyone to drinking? I apologize. Oh, Jonathan, <laughs> I'm a terrible. Well, actually, no. I was like, "What is gonna make sure? What is gonna? Because otherwise, I'll just." you know, stay up all night and worry about what, how things are going to go tomorrow. So the students won't be back, but the teacher works. It's going to be a hard day, but at least it's Friday. So that's good. Anyway, yes. happy birthday. Thank um, you. You know, sending lots of love to all of you guys. And. Oh, she's cutting out. Happy snacks. 
Have a great Thank school you, year, Curry. Good luck with school. Good luck with Thanks, school. Good luck with Have a great guys. school year. <laughs> Thanks. See you guys. Uh, talk to you guys soon and uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Excuse me. Oh, God. Champagne. My chickens are already asleep, or they would wish you a happy birthday, too. Your chickens. Oh, my oh, gosh. By the way, I, by, by the way, I will say, I got to say something hilarious is that that I, while I was watching the video, I was like, what the hell is Sherry holding, or uh, Shelly holding in her, in her, is that a wig? Like, <laughs> I, like I was like, is that, like some, is that some sort of curly wig? And then all of a sudden it like, it was like, murk, murk, and I was like, whoa, no, that's a chick. Did you see a tat? I made it a little birthday hat. I was wondering what that was on there. It looked yeah. like, it just Sorry. looked like a curl, like a curly wig, you know? It was, it was the only one I, I could grab. I mean, it was just like, cause they were out in their run and I, I couldn't, I had to like try to get one in and that chicken was not a friendly one. And um, I just, <laughs> but I tried to get that hat on its head. <laughs> I have a question for you, Shelly. Do you have a lot of eggs? I do, like way, way more. I just give away so many eggs, yes. Um, I love eggs. And I have a friend <laughs> who, <laughs> I just love eggs so much. It's just and the way you said it. I love eggs. <laughs> I love it eggs. It reminded I me just, of the Amanda I'll, show. I just love oh, eggs in really every way, it. shape, or form. I love an e a cracked egg on like, on like, or like I like I like a, a an egg, a, like a soft boiled egg, and like um, ramen or like cracked over like rice. I like omelets. I like have you had eggs, eggs and hard boiled eggs? I just love eggs. I had a friend who here in the city in L.A. He had like I want to say a couple chickens like two chickens you, you can some places there's I mean they, some people let you have was it yeah. well whatever the case may be but like whenever you whenever we we would visit he'd be like you want to take some eggs because I got a lot of eggs and it seemed like he just had more eggs than he could do and he didn't he did couldn't even he couldn't eat them there were just too many of them and do you have that well, That's we do, serious. and I have, I'll take, I don't know how many we have right now. It's, we're just, we have like, we hatched out and we've never done that before, but we, we did a little experiment because my, my two-year-old just, it was, it was fascinating. And I'd never watched all these baby chicks hatch out and it was so cool. We did it in the spring. So now there's all these extra chickens. Like one of them sounded like a, we get extra rooster. Uh, the roosters are starting to rue now and they're, and they, this, they sound funny. <laughs> they sound like little, little trains or they, it, so we're trying to figure out which Cutie. ones to roost because we, we, my husband will get rid of them because you can't have like eight roosters um, and we'll make them into soup or something. But anyways, uh, eight, eight roosters. I mean, but I have like, like a, 20. That sounds like a fight waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what they're starting to do out there. Like the little ones are, are, are there because they're like teenage chickens right now. So you can't really oh. tell just by looking at them if they're girls or or boys yet but oh, every oh, once oh, in a right. while so they're they're still yeah. young and they're getting that place where like they're gonna start to fight yeah um, and they'll also start getting that little bit of a they like they're trying to oh, do the wow. good call but they can't really <laughs> it's like it. going and i've had a whole bottle of prosecco so i could i could really do some rooster calls for you <laughs> oh, boy. it's it. like they're going through puberty that they are i mean so it's 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 funny and then they'll start like going after the girls and it's 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 entertaining but um yeah so we have like 26 chickens or something like that and so some of them are going to be roosters and then i have six five or six ducks i think i have five i have five now. oh wow and, and there's one, so th so four of those are laying because i think they're all girls except for one and so we do have a, a lot of eggs and i have you have a couple you of sisters i give them to and you eat friends. duck eggs Oh, they're wonderful. They're they're very rich, though. Like I don't Ooh. like them very often. That that's that's something I've never had. Erin's picture just egg. changed to a heart egg. <laughs> just like an egg with. Oh I mean, my I love god! So one needs to stop me. I've had Erin is just like is having a conversation with us silently through her. Uh, <laughs> she, she's she's <laughs> got the right well, now. Well, if it's you in we'll build you a house. The mic. Yeah, doesn't need to mic flash, doesn't need to like, you know, interject her thoughts. She can just tell us everything she wants to say strictly through the avatar photos. She should get some kernels. She's just so funny tonight. They're an amazing person. Yeah, why don't you send her some kernels, Dasha? Will do. 
And it's not the um, alcohol talking. Okay, Chris, yeah, I'm you. sorry. You, you've been waiting for a while. And sorry, I went off Chris. on chickens. And we're not even talking about Gilmore Girls anymore. Uh, but we are it's having okay. a good time. It's it's Chris, you, say you can talk about anything you let's, want. Let's hear it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Okay. Does it, every, anybody else need to say birthday, happy birthday before I go? Um, with my questions, I mean, I just want to make sure. I would like to okay. get out of here. Lee, you are my <laughs> enemy. Lee and I have a prophecy. One of us has to go. <laughs> anyway, we're that's, just a, waiting. that's a whole other thing just between me and Lee. Um, I, okay, so you were talking about Rory. And my yeah. questions were, I have two questions. One, did you notice how quickly she blew off Logan to hang out with her new girlfriends? And two, what did you think of her girlfriends? <sighs> hmm. Okay, so... Um, they don't seem like a particularly good influence. Um, I, I do remember them from set. So I remember being on set and just noticed like maybe getting there early and they were still shooting a scene. And I remember, I remember, I remember Kristen Ritter just because she's so unique looking and I feel like maybe I'd seen her already in something or you know something like she'd already started to appear in shows she was on Veronica she, Mars yeah. yeah maybe something I, I I can't remember what it was specifically that like she just looked really familiar maybe it was also just that she was um so she just is so distinctive um uh I so anyway just as characters I will say that I I feel like they're kind of her calling going to Finn. lead they're they're gonna lead Rory <laughs> down another path of uh, that is just as unsavory I guess for the character as I've seen a variety of other things these past two seasons um, with like the whole Logan stuff and and, and whatnot. I, I I just think that. I, I'm not. I know I'm not particularly hopeful that these characters are going to do good for the character for for the Rory character. Um, interesting thing about about Kristen is that uh, Kristen was in a move in a film called Refuge uh, that was written by my friend Jessica Jessica Goldberg. Jessica Goldberg is the showrunner of a show called The Path. Um, which was, I believe, on Amazon that, or is still on Amazon. I don't know. With with uh, with um, the lead character of that is the the Pink, guy who Pink plays Man. Pinkman, who plays I Pinkman. Think of his name. But I don't want to call him <laughs> Pinkman in the same way that in the same way that I that 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 when people call me Brian, it's sort of like, but you didn't I, remember, but you don't know my real I can't name. But his name. but unfortunately, he's just Pinkman right now. Um. Uh. Anyway, so Jessica. So this is just a roundabout story, but Jessica is a huge part of the beginning of my career because I actually, some of you who were at like an early fireside chat that I had with, um, with, with Mary um, in our first hiatus uh, might remember that I talked a little bit about like my, my path as an actor. And, or my path through the industry, I guess is a better way of saying it. Uh, so I, I, I began in Chicago as a theater actor and I had a theater company out there that I, I helped to found. And I, right before I was moving to Los Angeles, I, uh, I, I ended up getting kind of stuck in Chicago. I didn't have, I, I, I had already kind of come out here and I knew I wanted to live here. I started paying rent on an apartment out here and then I went back to, to Chicago in order to, to get my things. And I got stuck there because I didn't have money. And while I was there, the my my good friend who also founded a theater company had just gotten the rights to this play by this new up and coming playwright named Jessica Goldberg that um, that he really wanted me to play a role in it. And, and I was like, um, but I'm leaving, I'm going, you know, but because I got stuck, stuck there and I, and I couldn't get back to Los Angeles, um, I just decided that I would stay. And part of the deal was that we had to bring Jessica out and she had to sort of work with us during the rehearsal process um, because she was sort of a hot playwright at the time. And we were such a new theater company that it just, 
you know, it was a kind of a coup that we actually that we got this play because it was a play that like big theater companies were were al already looking at. Uh, her and I be became really good friends. She and I became really good friends, and uh, and we both at the end of it like discovered that we were both going to Los Angeles after. And I came out here, and she had a play at one of the big theater companies out here, um, and already had a role that she wanted me to play. So I came out to Los Angeles, right into a role, into like a huge, big theater, very well-respected theater. And that play was what the casting director of Gilmore Girls saw me in, right? Anyway, long- So she led you stores. to Gilmore Girls. Kind of. And I think so, you were but, talking about Aaron Paul. But Aaron Paul, that's right. Uh, and, and, but here's the thing is that that first play, the play that we got, the the one that was this sort of coup because it was this hot play that had just come off of like off off Broadway in New York and by this like up and coming playwright, that play was Refuge, was this, this you know, this play that, that, that this very small character play. Um, and, uh, and, and it's like based loosely on, on, uh, on Jessica's life. And Jessica had always wanted to make that film, wanted to, wanted to make that play into a film. And we had in the, in like the early 2000s, while I was still on the show, Jessica and I worked together on another film, a short film called A Fair Play, which Jessica wrote and I directed. And it was kind of the beginning of us trying to figure out like if there was like writer, a writer director kind of team possibility that could lead towards us being able to get money to make refuge. Um, it didn't, and I ended up going a different way. I started writing myself and, and, and whatnot. But Jessica then got her own sort of success in the industry so that she could then direct that that film herself the the play refuge this play that sort of started her career and arguably started my career um and she made that film and Kristen played the lead in that film full circle so yeah. just yeah. the way that yeah. things yeah. kind of like you know kind of link together in this industry and the way that people meet and pass through each other's lives and influence each other's work and career it's just this it's just this like never ending beautiful labyrinth um that you're constantly weaving in and out of six degrees That's is a real very... thing out there huh by the way refresh and look at tiffany's um profile picture because i I had to mute myself so oh I didn't my laugh. God. Oh, he's <laughs> changed it again. Wait, where's your love? <laughs> That's amazing, Tiffany. Oh, did you see her kissing the eggs before this one? That was beautiful. Oh, John, she had one where she was kissing the eggs. Have and you seen when she was steps? right below you. <laughs> Nicole's so oh. Yep. Um, yeah, John, I'm. I'm disappointed to hear you say that, though, because I was so excited that Rory met some, you know, I mean, at this stage, we think they might be new friends because we just don't get to see a lot of Rory with friends. And I know you're like diehard team Marty, but I would have loved Marty to just have been, you know, her boy bestie. I love I love the friendship Me between too. Rory and Lane, and I just wish we got more friendships. I, I agree with that, but I, I'm probably I'm probably influenced by I'm probably influenced by the role like the, because Kristen Ritter has sort of been known for playing these bad girl type characters. I I'm probably influenced by that. I'm I'm getting the sense that like that they're not that they're that they're going to sort of pull Rory out of this focus thing that she's been finding lately. I could be wrong about that though. And I agree with you. I think that it's nice for her to have friends. They just don't seem like they're friends that are on the same wavelength as she is. Whereas Marty does strike me as somebody who could have really jived with what she's trying to do. Yeah, I get, I get that. And Tiffany's kissing eggs again, if you didn't see that one. Yep. Nicole, Nicole's been <laughs> flashing to her bed. Yeah, she has. Oh, but you, wait, I just want to know, do you think her blowing off Logan means anything? She kind of blew him off to hang out with the girls. Um, I do, I think that it's probably they're probably playing around with this idea that like long distance relationships just don't work, which I don't know. I mean, 
I was in a long distance relationship for five years and I'm now married. So I don't really have the same perspective on that. (laughs) But I mean, it is kind of a little, it it, it is something that it's, that happens. I mean, long distance relationships are hard, but it also seems a little tropey. They're rough, but they can definitely. And she's letting Mitchum pay for that apartment. I think it's kind of weird. (laughs) And I'm just going to throw in my, my, uh, uh, once again, an official happy birthday. I know I said it online earlier with my little dancing Ted Lasso guy, but. Again, happy birthday. Thank you. It sounds like you've been and having I, a fantastic day. It's been a great, it's been a great birthday. I mean, my birthdays are pre, are typically pretty, pretty tame. Um, this Not one this has year. been a lot of, <laughs> this one has been a lot of fun and it's just been a lot of, yeah, it's just been a lot of love and a lot of people and, and whatnot. And my past birthdays have been, uh, they've just been quieter. Well, you know, it's nice cry. after the, the pandemic birthday to have something like this happen. Yeah, I agree. I think that that's, that's especially why I, I, I love it is that, you know, we've been so isolated. In, in general, th- this whole project is, is really wonderful in that way. Um, just connecting to people. Yeah, I just wanted to chime in. I'm also, I mean, I'm pretty close to drunk still way tipsy but um i'm starting to space out so i'm gonna bounce yeah, it's been great you should definitely be- because if you if you want to bounce like an effective tigger you gotta yep. you gotta do it before you get too drunk yeah i like i'm not like i'm still super super coherent and i haven't started slurring yet so i'm pretty good um but no i just wanted to um give my two cents um one with Lucy and the short one. Um, don't Olivia. 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 Thank you. Olivia. Olivia. I actually like them. They seem like a, I don't know, it's maybe a little biased because they're art people and I'm an artist and I'm, I'm in the art family, but I actually like them. They're a good breath of fresh air with all of like the really rich and very well off and very like focused, like trust fund people that Rory's been a part of. It's really good to have her, one, to have friends, but two, to have friends that are very, very separated from the life that she's been used to for so long. And so I think they're actually, and I may be a little biased because I've seen this season, but I feel like they're going to be a very good influence on her just because they're very much not in her world, both okay. Star Hollow like and... Too. Um, you well, know, I'm, but I'm curious to say, you know, I, 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 I feel like I could actually... Uh, are they on the season a lot? I mean, no I can't spoilers. say because we can't spoilers. Well, no, so I mean, the reason why I need, that, I need to know is that is that I am pr- I feel pretty confident that I can get I can I can get in touch with um the the shorter of the two. What's her name? Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> they're not. Yeah. I will say this: they're not a one-off. Yeah, they're, well, they're on saying, again. Like, I would, it would be good for me if I if, if, like you know let me know. They would absolutely get if Michelle on the short it, story. Like, let me know if, there, yeah. if there's an episode that you would like. I mean, I, I don't think Kristen, I don't think I can get Kristen Ritter to come, but I, I'm pretty sure that I can get the actress who played Michelle, Olivia, get Michelle to come. Yes. yes. There, I'll find the episode. I'll find the episode, John, or if someone finds she, the episode she and, I, she and I were, she and I were friendly on social media for years, and I, I feel like I have not touched base with her in a long time, but uh but I, I i don't see why she wouldn't come and hang out with her hang out with us for a night so pick up let's pick a really good episode give me like pick if we can pick an episode that oh, gives yeah. me at least like a week and yeah. and then someone... um and then also Devin, it, 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 uh, if it sounds like these are his last episodes then i'll have to jump in on that as quickly as possible but if we have if, if i can get if i can get him in next week for something then uh, I could also I can also reach out to him as well. Yeah, if someone if I find it, I'll message you. For, or if someone finds it for me, that'd be great. But I just wanted to say, um, even though I already said it once in a video, once on Twitter, and then once on Facebook, um, have it. I'm sorry. Wow, champagne brain. Um, very happy birthday, John. I hope you've had a wonderful birthday. You, like I said, you are an incredible person and I'm grateful for the fact that we've all been a part of this and that you've been the spearhead of all of this. And it's probably one of my favorite summers in 
in the last few years. So I really thank you for all that you've done. And it's been great to be your co-host through Clubhouse. Um, yeah, you should already you should already be able to see your your. Uh, yeah, I've your seen host. it. Yeah, I've seen it. Um, so yeah, I, I love you all. Good. Yeah, I love you all, and I will be back tomorrow. I am choosing you guys over a concert, so <laughs> I Good will night, see you all Tasha. tomorrow. Thank you, Tasha. Good night, Tasha. Uh, have a great have a great night and we'll see you Thanks, tomorrow Rachel. yes bye thank you for co-hosting well i i think that uh i don't know i just was wondering what you thought of that because i when i first watched this i kind of thought that they were supposed to be like rory's colin and finn after the first time i saw them on the show <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but I did when I watched the show originally yeah. aired. Yeah, exactly. That's how mm -hmm. I feel about them. And and Colin and Finn are a terrible influence. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I, mean, so, I love Lucy and Olivia. I think they're I think they're great. No, right. well, no, but well, I, mean, I mean I don't have shooting. much to I, I don't really have much to go on yet. So No, Sean, I just meant that was my first impression of them when I watched the show back when it aired. This, this I, is the my first, first time impression I'm of them. them. This is the first yeah. time I'm seeing them. I'm also a bit influenced, like I said, by the fact that Kristen Ritter has played a lot of these like kind of bad girl characters. But I, I honestly I don't really have enough I, enough to say other than that they do remind me of Colin Finn and I I found Colin Finn to be like kind of you know just jokers that that just you know don't really have any focus and and uh you know and are you know i mean friendly guys but just not not really they great there for the silly snobby fun yeah sure. yeah but i'm glad that that she's getting some fun friends because especially after lane now is married and pregnant and going through something so serious Right. And in life and just these pivotal moments in her life that I'm glad that these girls came around to have some fun and just kind of away from that a little yeah and I, I I mean I'm sure that the I'm sure that the the writers thought about that I'm sure that they considered it and and that's pretty cool that they did that uh I mean like I said I, I I need I need a little more time with those characters before I can really totally tell you how I feel about them but as of right now they definitely feel like a threat to this focused Rory that we just got back that's how they feel just like as a first impression yeah I think um, the episode definitely. French twist would be amazing to have Michelle on but it's only three episodes away so by, it's probably which, a bit by the, way, by, the, by the way that's that is where I remember them because that was the episode that I shadowed the director on so oh. that's on Saturday morning that's what Veronica's but, saying it's on Saturday morning but they're in that episode right that's yeah that's why I said it would though. be a good one to get Michelle on but it's not much notice for her. I can I, I can reach out to her and see. Uh, let let me see. And, and if she can't do it, then just send me another one. Um, okay. And then also for and also for Devin, like obviously, like I know that he's got some really good episodes in the next couple of days. But if there's anything else that he has later, let me know that as well, so that I can throw that in as an option. Yeah. 